Hi everyone, my name is Didi and welcome to this Overwatch Hero Review. Today we are talking about the lumbering monstrosity that is Roadhog. In this video I'm going to talk through his strengths and weaknesses and give you some ideas for how best to play him on the battleground, who to use him against, how to counter him if you find him on the enemy team and also give you a couple of sneaky tips at the end of the video that will help you take Roadhog to the next level. So what are Roadhog's abilities? Well, firstly there is his Scrap Gun. Essentially a shotgun that has two fire modes, a short range shrapnel blast that is powerful in close combat, and an alternate fire that sends a cluster of shrapnel out in front of you, which explodes once it gets to a certain distance. This gun is pretty effective at wasting low health support characters at close range, Although you may need a few shots for the bigger guys, and you should note that if you're using the alternate fire and it doesn't explode, it only causes about a third of the damage if it hits directly. So you want to be careful when using a scrap gun and making sure you're using the correct fire mode for the distance. The gun also has a pretty slow fire rate and only four shots in its magazine, so I recommend keeping up close and personal where the enemy is going to eat all that scrap and with only four shots, you want to make sure you're always reloading at any opportunity. His next ability is a chain hook. Now this is pretty cool at stun stunning and bringing those pesky support characters in close enough to eat shots from your scrap gun. It has a pretty long range and does cause some damage when hooking an enemy. Its cooldown is okay at six seconds, but you are immobile when until the actual hook is returned and also it does take some practice hitting every time. That is much much harder if they're a moving target or using a shield or a barrier that it won't penetrate. However, I personally don't think I'll ever tire of hooking someone in, blasting them with a scrap gun. It's a lot a lot of fun. A really important feature of the chain hook is that it actually interrupts players when they're using their ultimates or other abilities. So to stop some of the most powerful moves your enemies can do, hook them up, and that's going to be really useful to winning the game, keeping your team alive, and disabling your enemies from actually causing you damage. Roadhog's other ability is called Take a Breather. This heals Roadhog for 300 hit points and has an 8 second cooldown. As he has a large health ball of 600 hit points, he can tank quite effectively when you regularly heal. This makes a huge difference on the battleground if you're always at max health. And even better if you use the health pickups in conjunction with his heal ability to mitigate the cooldown and stay in the fight. And finally, Roadhog's ultimate ability is called the whole hog. This changes his scrap gun into a gatling gun firing multiple shots for 6 seconds. It's very effective at close range and can lay waste to multiple enemies, however the recoil is quite bad so you need to keep focusing on the target. Roadhog also moves slower when he's using his ultimate and you can't cancel the ability. So the kind of best recommendation is to sneak up behind a couple of enemies and hit that ultimate or if you find yourself in a situation where you think you're going to lose the fight, smack whole hog, start gunning and usually you'll be able to win that battle. So with all of those abilities in mind, what's the best way to use Roadhog on the battleground? Obviously hooking enemies and blasting them is the standard tactics. I've definitely noticed that if you hook and then step one, take one step forward and shoot, you tend to one shot the enemies much more regularly. But how are you going to help your team, not just kill people, but how are you going to help your team get the objective and win the battle? Well, my opinion, with a large health pool and a disable ability, he's very effective at disrupting the enemy team. If you prioritise hooking healers and support characters and stick actually with your team while you're doing it, they will help you take down the stunned heroes as quickly as possible. Roadhog Scrap Gun should take down most support and healer type heroes, however, what you may find is that if you hook someone like Reinhardt, you're going to need your team around you to actually take him down. 
Because when he wakes back up again, he can pull his shield out, he can start swinging that big, big hammer that he's got. And sometimes Roadhog is not going to fare the best out of that situation. So I'd avoid hooking a full health Reinhardt if I were you. What other weaknesses does Roadhog have? Well, for one, he's painfully slow. Although he does have a large health pool and can tank quite effectively, unfortunately he's got no dodge ability. So things like turrets and other high DPM heroes will be able to take you down quite quickly. Being such a big character, he's actually pretty difficult to miss, which works to their advantage. So with that in mind, the kind of tactics that you want to incorporate are to stay somewhat hidden on the battlefield if you can. So hide behind corners, pop out, hook someone straight in to face your scrap gun. Ambush tactics work really, really well with Roadhog. So if you're playing defense, you can stay on the fringes, hooking support heroes, killing them, and then backing off to re-heal from the damage that you've taken. That will help your heroes on your team also take down their offensive heroes because they're not getting the buffs and support they were previously getting. Equally, you can hook people away from the capture point to save them actually capping. That is definitely going to help your team out. But what about when you're attacking or capturing objectives? Well, that's slightly different because you can use his heal abilities and his large health pool to get onto the cap and then fight and never leave the cap. Get yourself into a corner, get behind a pillar, wait for someone to appear, disable them by hooking them, get the shotgun going, and hopefully you should be able to take them down. Keep spamming the heal button every 8 seconds, and almost alternate between chaining, healing, shotgunning, and reloading. You become pretty difficult to unpick from that cap point. So all that said, who does Roadhog work well against? Well, any ranged character like Soldier 76, McCree, Widowmaker, they haven't got the DPM with the shotgun and the massive one-shot damage that you can do with a shotgun. So getting up and close and personal with those guys, you should be able to take them down, no problems. Pretty much the same with support heroes like Lucio, Zenyatta, I probably said that wrong, who don't have the damage to kill you before being killed. So you can get in there, take them down, heal straight back up, and then pick your next fight. On the other hand, Roadhog struggles with heroes like Tracer. She moves too fast for him. Trying to hook Tracer when she's jumping in and out is really, really difficult. Not that it can't be done, but it, <laughs> she's definitely got the advantage over him. There are other characters with shotguns that have a better rate of fire so they can out DPM you like Reaper and D.VA or DVA. They've both got much faster firing shotguns so you can't stand and trade because they will take you down. Hooking a Reaper to get closer to you is sometimes a really really bad idea. May also gives you problems as so she can kind of kite around you and freeze you and has a reasonably good health pool as well. Equally, she can escape by putting down an ice wall, and you're just too slow to keep up with her. So finally, what sneaky tips are there? Well, there's a little bit of an animation glitch that you can use with Roadhog. And that's what happens is, if you fire, then there's an animation and there's a one and a half second delay between each shot. You can get over that by actually do using the chain hook ability directly after firing. It actually breaks the animation and speeds up the process. So you can get into a sequence of events that help you increase your DPM. So what you can do, shoot, instantly chain to bring the enemy in and then shoot again. Finally, the last component of that is that you should hit melee if they're still alive. The melee attack is actually pretty quick with Roadhog because, again, he's using a different hand. He's using his hook hand on the left rather than shotgun hand, which counteracts the animation of the shotgun. So you need to kind of practice getting into the sequence of it. Shoot, chain, shoot, melee. And that's the best way to do the most amount of damage. It's quite tricky. You should practice it. You also say it's quite situational because you need to think about what shot you want to use, how far they are away, and obviously trying to land all three or four, sorry, at the same time can be a bit tricky. 
so that's my review of Roadhog. I love playing this guy. He is a lot of fun. His kind of character design look is, is pretty awesome. Check out this skin that you can unlock for him. I can't, I really hope I get it. I, I have no words as to how he looks, but it's pretty awesome. So all I've got left to say is thank you so much for watching. I'm obviously gonna do or try to do a review of all of the Overwatch characters, so look out for those. Subscribe if you haven't, hit the like button if you found this useful, and hopefully I'll see you soon.